is on a mission Depend on the wall and the transmission Reach back in the streets again J Mullings from Written Mirror aka Wicked Penman Please like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff Donate to the channel Use the link you see in the comments All of that, 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 all of that. Right? Here's my question to you. So I'm not I'm not teaching and educating or saying any I'm asking I'm gonna ask you guys because help me understand this. If you are an A-list celebrity, right? Actor, musician, songwriter, model, I don't care, athlete, podcaster, broadcaster, movie, it doesn't matter. Should your young children be on social media? I'm talking about young children, right? So usually there's like a, a beginning age, like 13 or whatever. Younger than that, should they be on social media? Yes or no? Now, saying that, we have a couple of talking points. Kanye West, or yay. Yay. He illegally changed his name, didn't he? Yay, so yay, the West family, that current situation. Again, it's playing out on social media, so it's not like we're being, um, <clears throat> we're not being, what's the word now? It's not Schadenfreude where we're like, oh my gosh, this is so, I'm so happy that this is happening to someone so we can talk about it. Nothing like that. But it's just a, a topic where I'm just, I want to catch what the pulse is. Do you think, for instance, uh, what is it, North? Northwest should be on social media. Is it an issue? Is it something that will likely cause a rift between, let's say they're both celebrity parents, let's say even even if they're not, let's say it's one well-known person, famous person, and then a partner, and then there's a child in between. Is it something that's likely to be, a yes, one says yes, the other says no, and there's an issue with it. And who has more of the case? I know it will probably be situational on a case-by-case -case basis, but where do you, sit on on this and then i heard about it made me sad actually i heard about cardi, cardi b's child uh culture um cardi b had to make her is it instagram page private because of non-stop negative comments but then <clears throat> i remember that these were the same weirdos that were they were very dread to blue ivy at one point when she was very young they were like very strange about you know what I mean? Like the way they were like critiquing her and uh, and then I remember Millie Bobby Brown and some of the comments people were making and just some of the yeah the Stranger Things kids were like you know the most popular kids this side of BTS and all of that stuff so you sort of it, it, it did put them in a weird space and then you're seeing the other side of it where it's like teens who grow up into adults people still have this weird very very weird relationship where they feel like i don't know they're somehow a parent to this person or you shouldn't be doing this and you shouldn't be doing that look at like chloe bailey where it's like they don't want this woman doing anything she can't post nothing she can't say nothing without you yeah you check these these the comment section on some of these pages and some of these posts are disgusting to say the least people become way too familiar they they pass themselves and lose themselves and like i said the thing we haven't had yet which i hope never happens is someone becoming and it can happen that's the thing it can definitely happen someone becomes obsessed with your young child's your, you know your your stars and people become obsessed with your children like in a dangerous way they're just doing normal stuff that other people do they're posting where they are probably meeting up with friends or whatever you don't know what can happen you don't know what can happen so maybe that's the argument against right people can take keep tabs on where you are and where you go and who you hang out with and what school you go to or they can find out from other people's social media you appear in like again your whereabouts and your patterns and you don't know what people will do with that type of information that's definitely an argument for saying nah i don't want my kids on there but then at the same time if you're in the public eye constantly and you use you you know what i mean you finesse social media the way you do 
some part of your child is going to want to emulate that so you can understand why one parent may be like well we got to encourage this this is ambition this is taking you know a chip off the old block this is seeing something around it and wanting to enter into that space and then it might be a, a lane for them where you know i mean they get paid endorsements and they become <clears throat> ambassadors of brands and such and such and such so then one parent might be like very much in the corner of the of the child and be like yeah we should definitely make this happen i don't know i i don't know if there's a a right a wrong one's more more of a safety first approach the other is a cuddling approach which will probably end up being at the child's detriment because you're you're discouraging ambition you're discouraging stepping into a a space and a platform which they've seen both of you you know what i mean like hmm, i don't know <sighs> in in north's case it's definitely you can you can easily see why that particular child would want to be on social media your mother is one of the most recognizable faces in the world. Your father is one of the most talked about people on these platforms in the world. Some amount of that must just by osmosis pass down to the child. Come on. It's almost admirable that they want to go on there and sort of build out a little, little following and stuff of their own. And then you see something like DJ Khaled's child, uh, Aziz. Aziz, is that his name? And how that's the thing, the obsession with him was a like a parental obsession, like, oh, he's all of our child and oh, we fine. Whereas other other people's kids, they're not so kind with not at all. And and you can sort of see how they end up years later chasing attention, chasing this, chasing that, overcompensating, trying to do things for people to like them and getting themselves in very very hairy situations these are the, ch the kids of celebrities and this was before social media even really took hold like that right and then you have like the ones that end up on reality tv shows and it becomes hard to like really for people to really accept that this person has grown up at some point you understand like i don't know i don't know but yeah I, that's why I'm asking. I'm seriously asking here. I, I have no. I haven't made up my mind one way or the next. I just, I really want to know. What do you think? Right? Is it right to encourage the the child um, your child if what well, the child we say the child. Let's not say it's our child. Right? Our child will will make up. We will instinctively know what we feel is right. But in the case of celebrities, do you think it's right for them to sort of push them into going on to social media or to just be like no? That's not for you, stay off it. When they themselves use it heavily and they use it to be suggestive and sell things to your kids. So that's why I'm like, mm, it's like, you know, Steve Jobs famously wouldn't let his kids use iPads. But every kid around the world pretty much wanted one or had access to one, right? So it's like, what's that about? And imagine being that child. How would that child feel? I, I don't know, because obviously I never followed up to see if there was any benefits to staying off the, uh, the iPad all at that time when everyone else had one and had access to one. And you're the child of the CEO of the company that makes them and you're not allowed to have one. What's that about? So I don't know. But yeah, stranger danger is real. Stalkers are real. People are crazy people are mean all of this stuff so either approach i don't know make there's pros and cons for each approach as far as i can see but what do you think that's what i want to know leave a comment please I, again be respectful of course like i'm not again i'm not doing this to be divisive i literally am just intrigued to find out what is the consensus on this one way or another well one way or the other and there will probably be some con contradictory views in the comments as well but still it's good to have a, a sort of dialogue regarding i guess the, the best <sighs> the best case scenario the worst case scenario 
what to consider what's not what's being missed if there, yeah if there's a point of view that i've missed here or or if there's a story that's happened before that unfolded that says look this is a cautionary tale as to why you choose this over that way please share in the comments like i say in, 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 enlighten us all and, and share with us anyway jay mullings from red mirror aka wicked penman until next time uh the end screen will pop up do continue watching add me to your playlists donate to the channel using the links in the in the you know in the description fields and all of this stuff man like support the channel support the thing i need that right I'm trying to be a mogul innit? it like I, I promise i will never change my name to just like i won't be one of them one name people so yeah <laughs> joking i don't know what would i do with anyway we've had that conversation there's a video about what i would do if i had unlimited funds and all that check them out we, we talk about some interesting things on here anyway jay mullings from red mirror this time i really am out <laughs> later